Hey guys, so the new display block was released today, which supports APL. And today I'll just be doing a quick walkthrough of um, how to use it in your skill. So the display block is uh, essentially just the same as the APL block. It adds APL support. Um, we just call them displays. And in order to add a new display, uh, you can either click this button here or just go to the visuals at the top. and add a new display. So in order to add a display, first you're going to want to go to the Alexa um, APL authoring tool, which a link, which the link for is here. And here you can select from um, a variety of predefined templates, or you can create your own from scratch by clicking this here. So we're just going to create one of, we're just going to select one of these. And so essentially, um, so I do recommend reading the APL documentation a, a bit just to be familiar with how exactly everything works. Um, but essentially, from a high level, you have a document and a data and a data JSON, and everything on the left here is um, the document. And when you click on the data JSON, this is uh, the the content that is sent in. It's easier to think of it as the document is the structure of the view and the data source is the content. So the, the pictures, um, the text, and just the content of the, of the screen, whereas document is just the structure, so where everything should be. You can change this um, however you like. For example, you can change the title um, and it should update right away. You will also be able to add variables um, to this data source in our uh, in our view, but here obviously you can't really do that. Um, Amazon's not going to like it if you try to put variables here. So <clears throat> once you uh, once you have everything looking how you like, you can just click export code here, and this will download uh, the document as well as the data JSON that you have here, and Coming back to voice flow, all you have to do is drag and drop the file that you just downloaded uh, into, the, into the APL template here. You can also use the upload JSON file button. <clears throat> so once you do that, you'll see essentially the same thing that you saw in the developer console. So you have your data source JSON as well as your, uh, your document here, uh, except in voice flow. And you can save this. Um, exit back to your canvas and select the display that you just uploaded. Um, notice that the data source JSON gets automatically populated. Uh, you can ch you can also change this if you want. Uh, as I mentioned before, you can use variables um, such as title. You can also use an array as a variable. Like so, and just for convenience, we've added a test display option, and this will let you set your variables to what you want, uh, title, and it actually accepts um, arrays and objects. So this isn't actually uh, just a string; it's an array. It's a JSON array, and what we will do is try to parse this um, into, into an array and put it directly into the document. So if we run this, and this is just an alternative to, uh, to the Alexa developer console here, uh, the output should be fairly similar. And if you run this, uh, you get an idea of what your display will look like with the variables that you set. Again, all of these can be changed. Uh, if you want a different image, you can just replace that with the URL of the image that you want to show up in your view. Last thing I want to go over is update on variable changes. This really only applies if you are using variables in your uh, data source. What this does is if this is checked, essentially uh, any time that a variable that you use in your data source is changed. For example, 
uh, in a set block or in a capture block or even an API block, uh, whenever a variable is changed, we will what we will do is re resend your uh, your APL display with the new variable to uh, to the user's device, and this saves you um, the trouble of having to, for example, uh, I use a title here, I set the title to something else, and then uh, having to add having to add another display block after with the exact uh, exact same display here. Um, if you just check this box here, it will automatically do that whenever any variable is changed. In this case, it would be the title or the sources array. And yeah, that's pretty much it for the uh, multimodal display block. I'm super excited to see what you guys are going to come up with. Thanks a lot, guys.